this is what I want to ask. I want to speak on like uh, your thoughts about the small city mindset and what people around you aspire to be. Because coming from a small city, I realize if you don't leave this motherfucker, you really don't think it's nothing bigger than this motherfucker. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. when you, I, when I go out of town and I come back, the sky literally looked like it got like a gloomy like gloom. tint to it. It looks so gloomy. Hats. Okay, I'm not the only one. You see what I'm saying? Like when That's you go to great. Miami most, for a minute and then you come you back, come back and just you be like. It it's, it's, it's the whole energy, different. the vibe, it the atmosphere tastes, is different. When you breathe in through your mouth, it tastes different. Like mm -hmm. when I uh, I lived in Florida for a year, and I brought one of my friends here, and it was his first time leaving Florida, and he said that exact thing. He's like, "Man, everything looks like like it's a, on a dirty camera, like a tent." Mm -hmm. So, yeah. for people that don't really leave the city, they don't think that it's possible being something outside of mediocre. Like, a lot of people is comfortable with, I have a friend, no cap. I asked this nigga, if I was in a position with my network to where I could pay you $10,000 a month to stop trapping and come be a podcaster, you know what this nigga said to me? I would take that money and put it back in the streets. How crazy do that sound? Look at your face. Look at her mm -hmm. face. Can't, uh, Look, bro, that just sounds so. You can make ten thousand dollars sitting in front of a microphone for a couple hours a week, and you gonna go get on with it. Hey, that sounds so <laughs> dumb to me. Okay, I mean, unless, unless this nigga getting, unless this nigga getting bricks, you feel me? Getting some some boy, unless he ain't no way. Even if you is getting bricks, I'm putting all that shit. What my ten bands to go sit down on the couch with these motherfuckers? I mean, that's true too. That's true too. Ain't no way. And that's a month, so every thirty days you're going. Every you know, another ten. I'm just saying, you I'm, gotta I'm, be a dummy. Have you, you ever did manual labor? I don't even. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sir. Listen, I am sorry. I don't even know count? why. Do facts count? Hell yeah, facts count. Manual especially. labor. Yeah. Have you ever? Shit. Matter of fact, fuck just manual labor. Have you shit. ever had to do some shit that you didn't want to do, but you did it because the bills got to be paid and people got to be fed? Talk about it. Why Man. would you think to yourself, I can make a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year base pay? I just don't get it. So, I just want to bring up like, uh, I really want to know what do you aspire to be? I guess that's the general question. Like realistically, hmm. and if you even really think about it, do you think about yourself bigger than just being somebody that work at a factory or a motherfucker that gotta go to a, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I have. <clears throat> um, on I've always been complimented on my gifts, talents, and shit like that. And um, as I got older, my choir of life, my choir of life, the taste that I have acquired in life, like certain shit, like, you know, some things just fit you or feel right or something. You just like, this ain't it. Mm -hmm. Like, this just ain't it, bro. So circumstantially, like seeing how things was growing up, I'm like, I know this ain't how I want to live. I knew growing up, I just wasn't how I wanted to live, how I wanted to live. So nobody showed me how to put a plan together. I just started venturing off, trying to exp you know what I'm saying, experience, uh, explore ways to try to come up and better the situation to my liking. Okay, so I'm gonna say I got. I'm gonna just go ahead and say. Hold this. on, because yeah. the general question is. What do you aspire to be like? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I always aspire to just be something great. I, uh, what it was, I didn't know. I, and to this day, to me, it's always been music or just uh, reaching out to people. I have a, I know I have a, um, a story to tell. Mm -hmm. So I'll be trying to find my, like, I'm a people's that. person, so I know how to relate I to people. That. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so music is one way how I vent in, 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 in relation and yeah. just generally having conversation or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, and shedding light on 
I feel you. My past and what you know what I'm saying? So if I'm not somebody infamous, famous to where the world knows, if I'm able to just talk to a couple of people and they was to alter their I feel like I've aspired to be what I you know. Mm. And let me go ahead and that's like a mission. Just let, let me go ahead and uh, clean that up. You know what I'm saying? Right behind him. Because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I know what he's trying to say, but this is my answer to your question, really. Uh, I aspire to be the best man I can be on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? It's not as simple as when they ask you when you're a little kid, what, what you want to be when you grow up? You know what I mean? Or that kind of thing. Uh, not for me anyways uh <clears throat> it's just like i got the potential to be anything you know what i'm saying but he i feel like he can't go back i feel like <laughs> wherever wherever spirit kind of puts me to display some <clears throat> leadership capability or you know to you know what I'm saying? If I could reach one, you know what I mean? Or if I could just help somebody, you know what I mean? Or uh, if I could learn this, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's different. Uh, but in a nutshell, I just, I just aspire to be better the next day. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. I'll go next. I'll say, um, I figured out so far in my life, like, I just figured out that people, I have a gift with people. Man, I'm the life of the party. I, I mean, I always have people rolling, cracking up, all that type of stuff. I have strangers that come to me that don't even know me that just talk to me and will listen to what I got to say. It seems like they can walk away and feel good about they, they words. I mean, the words that I gave them. And it's like, I walk away feeling sad, like, man, I'm worrying about them. But I've came to terms with that. I just noticed, like, that's my gift. I got a lot of people that gravitate towards me, and they, they fuck with me. I got some ones that, that be like, man, I love you, man. You might, you know, show love to me and everything. So I think that's one of my gifts. So I is inspired to keep other people happy and feeling good about themselves and you know, better than themselves, for real. And I, I love that I'm that type of person that people look up to. You'll be an, en an energy shifter. Yeah, yeah. But also inspired to, you know, get some success, some more success and money and, you know, but that's my biggest goal. Like, that's my inspiration. I inspire to be that person to help other people. It sent me. It, that's my gift. Word. What about you, brother? Shit. <clears throat> I just aspire to be the one motherfuckers can, like, depend on, like, if anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be able to be the one that can help everybody around me get to whatever they need to, you feel me? If it's, whether it's money, I just, if, if I need money, that's what I need to be able to help people. I want, if anybody needs some money or something, and and I, I just want to be able to have it and be able to help whoever around me. You know what I'm saying? And just make everybody's life around me easier. Yeah. So any way I could work to doing that, it's just you know it's kind of like what bro said. I just aspire to be a great person. Right. Okay. Word. So <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. Everybody with everything y'all said was. Was great, you know. There is no wrong answer. You, you feel me? Know. It's just something I want. Sitting in the middle, <laughs> not for sure, but in my feelings. With me, the older I get, the more shit I I notice myself getting into. Like, of course, I've been through my music phase. I'm still in my music phase. For the people that's gonna try to jump down my throat for saying it past tense or something, I wasn't even gonna say nothing. You know, so at me. yeah, I correct myself so you didn't have to. <clears throat> but uh, with me, uh, like being in the music. Um, I'm picking up a camera now. I'm shooting videos <laughs> for people. Um, I'm trying to run a network with multiple shows. I got a shirt company with my girl. Um, and everybody around me know for the longest, all I've really been speaking about is getting like sprinter vans so I could be my own boss. And with everything I done did, whether it was 
Caution Gang or uh, Stay Solid or uh, Cut Different Network or anything, um, I realized that I try to pull my people in with me. So I realized what I aspire to be is the outlet. You feel me? Like in whatever way I get successful, I'm able to bring my people with me in some way, form, or fashion. You feel me? Amen. If I can get a fleet of Sprinter vans, nigga, we we oh. all independent contractors. You yeah, y'all yeah, working. Money. Y'all going to be working. Amen. Y'all going to be ne- working. If the network blow, everybody got a show. We getting y'all to Y'all going to be working. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> if, my shirt be- company, if my shirt company pop off, shit, I need somebody to push the, press them shirts mm-hmm. and got yeah. them do graphic design and shit. You feel me? So I, at, at some point, yeah. I just realized no matter what I end up being, I aspire to be somebody that... Yeah, because y'all ain't going to be calling Nino talking about, people, I need to brawl somebody. No. Nah. I he ain't putting gonna... on the family. <laughs> he put, no, we, y- y'all going to work. <laughs> hey, no, don't be calling me, oh, because oh, I'm, I'm in a band right now. No, because I just told you, like, don't this shit is j- jangling. I got jobs for all of us. calling me. What about you, Chuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn! Mm. All Took right. Had them shots. All right. He said, what? "What you inspire to be? What should, what, should, what that's, inspires that's, you?" I was what? making sure I was still on the right page. Now, now okay. I want to know what, what you're doing. You, Chuck? <laughs> um, I aspire to be self-sufficient. Pretty much, I don't want to have to work for somebody else. I want to be able to make enough Preach. working for myself to wear. I can survive off of that. And if I want to live above that, I might have to work for somebody else, but I still want to be able to choose when I'm working. I don't want to have to answer to a nine to five job for the rest of my life. Hey, Chuck, ain't going to lie to you. If we get to the point to where we can survive this off of this, ain't no going to work for nobody else. We just going to put in some more goddamn work. You hear me? Once we get to that point, it's O-V-A. And that, that, I guess I could say, is what I aspire to do. Yeah, that's dope. I ain't th- I ain't threw a curveball topic in there in a minute. You nice. feel me? So I thought that I would, <laughs> with Brandy nice. being back and shit, you know what I mean? I thought I would <laughs> throw one out there. Um, yeah, that was dope. Thanks, man. You know, I try to do what I can do when I can do it. You know what I mean? Uh, let me see what this is real quick. Take the Slim Jim. Oh, okay. Boom. 